Hi, this is Matt with Lady Obscure, and I'm here with Cobra Page of Cobra and the Lotus. Say hello, Cobra. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hello, Matt. <laughs> uh, we're here at uh, Alchemy in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, the latest tour stop for Cobra and the Lotus's tour with Texas Hippie Coalition. Uh, there's a few other bands on the bill tonight, but uh, how's the tour going so far? It's going pretty well. We're getting the new album out there, which has been pretty fun, and uh, it's really cool to see the support for it and see how many people have already listened to the new album and digested it. Great. Uh, now, speaking of the album, uh, Prevail 2, which is in stores now on Napalm Records, uh, it's been out for uh, a few weeks now, and uh, there, it's been doing really well. It, it's uh, charted, I believe. Uh, one of the uh, the new artists charts yeah so uh, there's there's generalized charts for the US mm -hmm. and North America that we receive and uh, so for this week we reached number four for new artists um, in general that's across all genres so, yeah yeah and then there were some other things uh, but I can't specifically remember I think it was 21 for hard rock and stuff like that. So it's pretty good for a bunch of kids just <laughs> also trying hard rock for the first time. So That's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> uh, being the second part of the Prevail, uh, you know, being the sequel to Prevail 1, um, I know that you, it had all been written and recorded at the same time. Yeah. But looking back now uh, that this one is out, how does it feel to have that accomplishment of knowing you had two albums worth of material and now everyone can can listen and it, the response has been amazing from people I've been talking to about it. Thank you. Um, I feel really proud. Uh, actually more proud probably of this than anything we've accomplished so far. Um, like if we stopped doing music tomorrow I'd just be like, well, I feel just happy that we did something like this once in our life because it was a really tough challenge um, and I think that uh, we as a group really stepped up to the plate with writing a double album and also introducing uh, some new sounds and modernization that mm -hmm. we've been really looking for so um, I'm excited and also I mean this was all written in 2016 it's 2018 now and so looking back and seeing that we did this two years ago, this body of work all at once. I'm really, I am, I'm very, very proud. You and should uh, be. I really look forward to what the next album will be like because we've learned oh, again over the last two years, you know, so. Yeah. Now, with the, um, the track listing on the new album, how, would, how did you kind of decide which ones were which songs were going to be on Prevail 1 and then which ones were going to be on Prevail 2 because it seems like Prevail 2 the song selection and the order the running order just seems perfect you it's, know? yeah it's very strange how these fell into place kind of goes along with the saying everything happens as it's supposed to mm -hmm. and the universe has a funny way of snapping things into place it was very tricky to choose Prevail 1 and 2 because it was a double record being split up and we were very fearful of weaknesses, fearful of one being stronger than the other, etc, etc. But in the end, those are all opinions and um, mm -hmm. we just basically started putting the first one together. Uh, we knew Trigger Pulse was going to be the single, so Gotham to us felt like it was hand in hand with that. Mm -hmm. And then You Don't Know was going to be the first music video. Uh, we should then we chose light me up as the ballad and the first video for that one so that kind of was a precursor for splitting the ballad up and splitting some stuff up on the next one um, and uh, you don't know and victim seem to be one for one album so it, it just fell together this way yeah. in mysterious ways I think you don't know has become such an anthem when it comes to you know people that want to spread the word about mental health awareness mm -hmm. and i think it's it's amazing that that song has been like a call to arms to say like 
you know, it's okay, you know, to not be okay. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is I, I haven't met a person to date that isn't mentally ill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's, uh, we're a very complicated species, mm-hmm. and, um, you don't know is an anthem for people, uh, because, in general, uh, I don't think that we can understand each other, um, uh, at all, really, in usual, otherwise we wouldn't be frustrated, we wouldn't be provoked, mm-hmm. we, we wouldn't, you know, um, so it's just such a, um, it's an interesting feeling, because I think it's a very universal thing, and mm-hmm. to see the, also the people that have come out of the woodwork with that song has been interesting, I've seen a lot of, um, transgender people actually say that that song has really helped them, and, uh, that's been wild and really beautiful to see. Yeah, absolutely. Now, conversely, uh, with the new album and uh, Let Me Love You, mm-hmm. which is an amazing song, uh, which it's heavy. It's like, you know, it's got such a great heavy riff to it, and it makes me want to, like, bang my head as soon as I hear it. But the lyrics are, like, kind of melancholy. Like, it's almost like you're, so, you know, the person that you're talking to doesn't know what, who they are uh, as a person to the one that's singing. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, just let me love you and, you know, you don't know how beautiful you are, you know, and things like that. And yeah. I think that, you know, that's more of an anthem, I think, for, you know, for people that need to, you know, realize that they are beautiful as people, you know, and, you know, it's, it's a self-esteem thing where yeah. it's it's almost like the, the person in the, you know, that's singing the song to the other person, um, it's like, you know, hey, you you need to realize how good you are, mm-hmm. you know, and that, you know. And lovable. Exactly. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I think personally that's one of my favorite songs on the album. And the video yeah. is just <laughs> fantastic. I think the the whole vibe of it, the you know the the, the heart in the uh, you know the pink hair part. I mean that you know really you know is a great visual. And then of course the animation. Yeah. So how did that all come about with the animation, and then to do the special version with the uh, Japanese lyrics? Course. This album definitely had a few shockers on it uh, for <laughs> some people, which was really fun. Um, I always wanted to do a Japanese track uh, mm-hmm. because I know Japan always is going to get a bonus. Yes. There's no way around it. No. <laughs> the one thing, though, I thought is, <clears throat> is there a way to share this with the world? And uh, by doing a midi- music video, we could share it. People could hear it. Yeah. And so uh, I just wanted to go all the way with it. Yeah. So I redid the song with someone um, Japanese, and uh, she taught me, and we worked for a, quite a like a month actually, and we wrote the lyrics in Japanese. And, um, yeah. Then then when we were gonna, I was like, you know, when we do this video, I'm gonna be a manga character. So yeah. this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> you are a manga character now. You you have been yeah. immortalized as a manga character. It's fantastic. And I wanted it to be fun. I wanted to put some, like, humor into the yeah. story and not make it so heavy-hearted. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think you, that, you <clears throat> definitely accomplished it with that. And awesome. I love I loved the <laughs> video. You. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> you know, but... Yeah, uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, now, what do you think uh, the next single, is that already chosen, or do you... Um, so we did do a music video for Velvet Roses, actually. Oh, great. So that's what's coming down the pipeline, and mm-hmm. uh, that's supposed to also be a comedy. So we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we'll definitely be interested to, to see that. Now, any plans for, like, a headlining tour? Um, I don't think so. No. I really think that uh, we need to support people a mm-hmm. lot more, but... Um, universe hasn't provided those chances for us yet like in the right way that we're needing and you can't make that so mm-hmm. we're doing what we can with yeah. what we have and growing our audiences organically um really grueling it out and uh yeah i don't know time will tell i don't know anything i don't know what's meant to be for anyone or what isn't yeah 
Well, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll be seeing you guys live again. You know, but I'm looking forward to the show tonight as always. Um, and uh, just yeah. in 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 uh, conclusion, I know because people are going to ask. Yeah. How are you feeling? Because oh. <laughs> there is a slight <laughs> accident. You. Well, you know, I know uh, there'll be a lot of questions, but you know. Uh, I'm doing very well. Okay, good. Yeah, um, I'm very stiff and sore, uh, but I don't know. I got really, really lucky. Yes. So we'll see. I haven't headbanged yet, though, or like done a show, and we have seven in a row now. Um, and I am pretty stiff and sore in the neck, so I don't know. We'll well, s I think we'll see how I'm doing after this week. Okay. Well, yeah. I know there will be a lot of people that are going to ask me, so I wanted to make oh, yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. You tell them that I've, I got right really from lucky. You. <laughs> it's right from, lucky from your your voice, so they'll know that, you know, that you're doing okay, which is great news, and, uh, you know, yeah. you'll be on the mend and ready to, to rock out soon, I'm sure. Yep. I'll be putting everything in that I've got anyways. Just maybe won't be moving my hair as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well... I, at, at this point, I'll let you get ready because I know you uh, you have to get ready for for the show tonight. But thank you so much for oh, taking the time out. Well. And uh, this is Matt, Lady Obscure, the Honey Badger, and uh, Cobra saying uh, so long and stay metal.